Hello. Welcome to uh, Tom's Kitchen. So this week we are doing uh, donuts and sugar cookies. Okay, um, I'm just gonna. My head's being chopped off a little bit today. I'm just gonna grease it up a little bit. There you go. Cool. So hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is well on this uh, lovely uh, sunny day. And again, I'm inside. Uh, it always seems to be the case whenever I do these cooking things. I think it's only been raining one week. So uh, obviously that's a sign that whenever I do my kitchen uh, of cooking that it's sunny outside. So uh, yeah, so hope everyone is well. Say hello in the chat. Um, if you're new here, hello, my name's Tom, uh, I'm an adult with PKU, not a professional chef, just got a lot of stuff and just going to try and cook things, um, make things a little bit more different and uh, yeah, just try and, try and increase your repertoire of cooking skills, which is what I've slowly been doing as this is I think my sixth stream, um, sixth or seventh, I've lost track, maybe seventh. Um, but yeah, so quarantine and lockdown has really helped me improve my cooking skills. So that's what we are doing, is slowly but surely improving my cooking skills and your cooking skills too, um, through uh, d different things every week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the chat the uh, recipes that we are doing today. Uh, so you can follow along at home if you want, um, but also it's there for reference if you want to come back to this. And have a look at what the hell is going on and um, how, how did you do these things. So I have the recipes here, this is what you'll find on the Google Doc um, and this will hopefully give you an idea of how to make the stuff that I'm making today. One of them requires um, like a donut maker which I have here um, and the other one the sugar cookies don't require any form of equipment it's just you and an oven and a baking tray. So um, yeah, so what we're gonna do first of all is um, yeah, we're gonna make a start on the sugar co sugar cookies. There you go. My words are coming up. Gotta keep drinking, of course. Otherwise, it's weird when you're in uh Hello Charlie. How are you? Hope you're well. Um, so when I because obviously I'm in lockdown on my own which means that I don't really talk to many people with, uh, with my voice too much. So then when I do start talking with these live streams, I need to consume so much fluid um, to, to keep, my, uh, to keep my, my throat hydrated. So uh, yeah, it's quite a weird thing. You never thought that before, but you have to. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to do sugar cookies and then we're gonna do um, the Donuts while the sugar cookies are cooking. So, what we're going to first of all do is we are going to get a bowl. So, if I use this bowl, this bowl, please, this bowl. Um, and we're first of all going to put in um, some of these measurements on here have like cups um, or grammage measurements. Um, new things that I had this week. Um, oh, these lovely, more cups, more spoons, there you go, more spoons. People know, if you're a frequent watcher of these streams, you know that I love my spoons. So uh, I got these spoons uh, as, a, as a late birthday treat that kind of helped with the measurements. So this is like one cup, half a cup, quarter of a cup, eighth of a cup, that sort of thing. So, um, what we're going to first of all do, this inside so I can have the extra things. Wash your hands, I've washed my hands already. Um, and we are going to make sure that I'm doing it by the recipe that I'm telling you to work from rather than ad hoc things. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the butter in. So I need my scales. Okay. This makes 12 cookies. Okay. So, um, depending on how big you want the cookies, depending on what you're going to roll them out like and stuff, then that's completely up to you. So, 
But 12 cookies is what the recipe recommends, and it's kind of how much comes out. So we're going to get flour. We need margarine and sugar. So if I just get my sugar out. Hope everyone is well. Let me know what you've been up to. There's a fair few people excited for donuts. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crack on. So the first of all, what you do is you mix the margarine. You don't need really. Don't know why that's happening. You're gonna mix the margarine and the sugar first of all, so we can see. And we're gonna use the new measurements. So what it says here is half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of margarine and a quarter of a cup of sugar. So this is why you have the spoons. This is really useful. So half a cup of margarine. Do, do, do. Ah, the margarine. So that kind of comes out roughly just over 100 grams, if you're wanting um, equivalent, in a sense. Yeah, lots of uh, washing of hands, <laughs> especially working with margarine. For some reason, I really hate the texture of margarine and hands. Um, so now we're going to go for a quarter of a cup of sugar. And pour that over. Do -do -do -do. Right. So we've got this. We need to put that in the drink. We need to wash that out at some point. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to beat this until it's smooth. Okay. This is what's quite weird about this is we're not add, we're adding it in. We're doing this before the flour. Okay. So just make sure that the margarine make sure the margarine is picking. All sorts of all the sugar. Just gonna put my phone on silent. So, beat this until smooth, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add the powder uh, of the flour. So, takes a little bit of time. You don't want to leave any sugar that hasn't been almost like attached by the margarine. You want to beat it until it's smooth, otherwise it's gritty. You don't want it to be gritty. You may, okay, Charlie, you've made PPE donuts. See, I've never made PPE donuts until I did some tape testers last night. Um, the good thing with this machine, and obviously we'll get onto this in a bit, is that um, it has its own like guides, so it's got its own. Right, it's going back up. So, yeah, it's got its own like holes and shapes and stuff, so the stuff definitely comes out looking like a donut. Now, whether it tastes like a donut, I tried them last night, they do, they taste nice. But sometimes some donuts are just balls, aren't they? So, right, so we got that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the flour in. So the flour, um, we are looking at 175 grams of flour. So if we, we're going to need a spoon again. Do so 175 grams of flour. Okay. 
Pull this in. Don't forget while you're doing this, which I'm going to do right now, because I did forget, is uh, put on your oven. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at about 175. There you go. Some more power from the donuts. Um, we're looking at about 150 Celsius. So if we turn on the thing, I've already pre. Uh, So you just want to put that on to heat up. Uh, what we're also doing here is adding in any of the optional flavorings, okay? So what we are going to do is we're going to zest a lime. So we're going to go, it says here, um, you can do vanilla extract or almond extract. Hello, Emma. Hello, Flo. Um, hope you guys are well. You guys are the, probably one of the main reasons why we're doing donuts today. So uh, let's hope it turns out good. Um, so optional flavors, vanilla and almond um, extract, lemon or orange. I'm doing lime today for a little bit of a difference. And a teaspoon of cinnamon and ground ginger. So I've got ground ginger here. Uh, you can use cinnamon or whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna do half a lemon or orange. So that is half a lime for me. What we're going to first of all do is we're going to get rid of the we're going to get rid of the skin of this one. So if I just move this to the side. I do very much appreciate people that aren't sat in their garden sunning themselves and coming to watch a random person cook in their kitchen. It's very appreciative. So we got lime there. We don't want to take it down too far. You want to get rid of all the green off this lime because obviously you're going to be uh, juicing it for the juice. The skin will stop the juice coming out, so you kind of as as we're not actually using these these shavings in in contrast to some stuff that we have used in previous streams where we've used these. So it's all right if you want to go right down to the white this time, whereas obviously before you were trying to avoid going down to the white because it would make it bitter. Okay, so we've got our line. We're going to chop this in half. says. Okay, and then you can squeeze it, or I've got my own new, new improved juicer. Flo says she's having a lazy day, she's been playing with the new hula. So that sounds, that sounds not lazy, hula hoop, bro. that sounds, uh, what's it called? That sounds like quite uh, intense. So we're juicing, we're juicing the lime, Pour it all out. Okay. You can see I've got a little bit of juice here in the bottom. You want to add this, and you can. Um, I'm going to add it in. You can use this just to add in the lime zestiness. So you want to add this in and the juice. Okay, and then we're going to do ground uh, cinnamon. So the, the flavourings, it's about choosing one or two of the three. So you don't have to have all three, that might be a bit crazy. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the ground ginger. Is, am I imagining, Emma, the hula hoop is, that, is, a, is the huge thing that you shake and you want to try and keep up as high as you can 
but in, inevitably it will always fall. I assume that's what that's what she meant. So we are looking at half a teaspoon. So I'm looking at my spoons. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Okay. And then you want to stir this round. Mix this all up, make sure none of the margarine inside is coming up. And you want to add in a little bit, like a, tea, a teaspoon, a few teaspoons worth of um, cold water. So a table, half a tea, tablespoon. So you want to add in a couple of these just to help the mixture all come together. this you're looking at it being cold it's not warm so it might take a little bit of work hi Suzanne how are you Yes, any excuse, Charlie, uh, to use my spoon set. Of course. Okay. So you want to add in a little bit more water. This is all about judging. It says two to three, but it's just about seeing how the mixture is coming together. So for me, I'm adding in two more, just so then it becomes far easier mixture to work with because obviously we're going to be rolling this, we're going to be cutting it, we're going to be doing all sorts. So we need it to be slightly moldable. I saw your uh, PKU article about lockdown, Suzanne. It was interesting. It is quite how the diet has been different. Uh, now the condition is quite different when you're in lockdown. Cool. So, what you want to do now is you want to bring all this mixture together with one hand. So bring it all together. Put it down. You want to try and form it. It's a one ball, so it's going to work with you. If it's not tight, completely coming with you, then you might have to add in a bit more water. But at the moment, it's coming out as one big ball, so that's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to dust the work surface. So I'm just going to use some stuff. Just the work surface with a bit of flour. This is nice and messy. Hannah's also made. Oh, we see. We're slowly getting Hannah into making cooking. That's good. See, now we have to see whose cookies are coming out the best. No, 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 you don't have to do a name check, Susan, it's fine. You did say that people are improving their cooking skills, and I was like, that is definitely me. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be doing this um, kind of before the lockdown, and I guess a lot of people didn't think they'd be doing a lot of things before the lockdown. 
So what we're going to do is, it's now a manageable ball. This is now a manageable ball, so I say. We're going to put it on the surface. And here is our manageable ball. You can see it's a very manageable ball. Okay, and then we're going to roll this out. I'm just going to wash my hands a little bit, otherwise I'm working with just one hand. We're going to roll out this dough now to be about a quarter inch uh, in terms of thickness. Okay, so make this out of the way. Do, 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 do. Oh. It's very sticky. She floured up the uh, rolling pin first. This is not taking to particularly. Quite wet. I think it's a bit too wet as, as, as mixture. So Hannah, if you're doing your cookies, don't put in as much water as I do. <coughs> Slash flour your rolling pin before going on. So I'm just going to get some flour. I did forget to flour. See, this is why I say that I'm not a professional chef. Because if you're a professional chef, you would have done this. It would have looked all smooth. But I think that's part of the charm. Or well, that's why I keep telling myself. Is uh, if you think about it. There you go. If you think about it, um, we had blender issues where it was overfilling. Try and make sure that it's even. Probably needs a bit more flour. I'm just going to check the thickness. Looking good. Just going to wash the pin and do it one more time. Well, it's taking to quite well now. How is everyone? So I'm expecting um, Caroline or Hannah to post up what these, uh, what your cookies look like compared to mine. What was your flavourings? What flavourings have you used? Because obviously there's a bit of a choice. I'm just going to okay, if you want to add, I'm just going to get some more flour. Okay, so you want to add a little bit onto the top so the top isn't sticking to. So, a little bit onto the top of it. And then some for the rolling pin, because obviously it's quite a sticky object. Okay, so now that is looking like good thickness. We're talking about 0.6 millimeters. Okay, yeah, we're talking about 0.6 millimeters. And now what we're going to do is we are going to cut them out. So I'm going to go for, I've got this lovely set of cutters. Um, so I'm going to do them quite small just to make sure that I get a decent amount from the dough. So 
And when we're talking about, yeah, I'm going to add a nice little, look, it's not lime and vanilla, okay. That's nice, it's a nice touch. Right, so, cut them out. And then what we do have is we have a pre-greased baking tray. As someone on Twitter said that I destroyed their, I think it was their teeth, their teeth with greasing my baking tray uh, on air. So I've now done it in before. So, very sticky. So we're going to cut them out. Here. Your, temp, your oven should be doing its thing now. Yeah, so we're just going to cut them out. And then we're going to lift them with a fish slice. And then once, once we've done this one, we're going to get them all back, like the rest of the uh, stuff together. This is the intricate, delicate part, which obviously, if you know me well enough, you know that I'm not particularly intricate or delicate. Need to flour the uh, flour the fish slice. Otherwise, it's just sticky. Roll this out again. Okay. The definition of cookie shape is going to be interesting. So obviously I've done them quite small, so you're going to come out with a lot more. Proper struggle in this. <laughs> I hope you're doing a better job, Hannah, than me. So yeah, I think I've put too much water in. I would agree. So if we all put it back into a bowl, I think all this flour is helping uh, make it a lot easier to work with. So then we're going to put more flour in. I have practiced the donuts. I haven't particularly tried this one. As you probably can tell. So hopefully you're sticking to the recipe, Hannah, and not just doing too much water. 
like I did. Things weren't always going to be as smooth were they as other weeks. That's a lot better. So much better now. So note to self and everybody else. Don't put in as much water as I just did. Stick to the recipe. <laughs> don't put in too much. Because these are working a lot better now. And there's a lot less struggle. I'm actually going to take these off. Okay, I'm just going to add, bring it all back together, use all the, um, all of it. That's not that's not an issue. Who's to say that you're just um, you're just coming up to is it summer solstice? So you're liking the you're liking nature with your Christmas tree cutter. That's fine. <laughs> to be fair, what you can also do is you can use like um, I've seen people use like mugs and stuff just for the circle element. So you can do that if you wish. Let's get in there. We're going to come out with loads of cookies. This is going to be my dinner for when I'm watching your vision tonight. Something you didn't know about me. I love your vision. It's no guilt, pure love. Just one more batch, just because there's a little bit more space. I'm just putting in the old ones to make them all look like they are uniform. If I was in Bake Off, they'd be asking them to be uniform. Do a second baking tray. Maybe. We'll be alright. Do, 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 do. And I think that will be enough. Yeah. So that's what we're looking like at the moment. Random amount of uh, biscuits. How many have we got? Cookies. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 23. There you go. It's because I've used a small cutter. So if we now get rid of all of this, I'm going to have to do a nice, tidy job. Um, and those cookies um, are now going to go into, um, what's it called? Into the oven for about 25, 20 to 25 minutes. And you're looking for them to go quite golden. Okay, so we're going to put these in. Remember, it's 150, 150 Celsius. Okay, we're not wanting too high. We're not wanting to explode them. That sort of thing. 150, 150 degrees Celsius. Um, so let's get this nice. Wash down, because then we're going to be making donuts. And then once we've done the donuts, we're going to do icing and icing sugar and powdered sugar to cover our cookies and our donuts. So. If there's any questions. 
How is it going for with Caroline and Hannah and their cooking? I've said to Hannah that she should live stream. And I'm going to try that butternut squash uh, recipe that she sent across to me this week. And this is why I don't use a keyboard that I'm very fond of, because it gets messy. Okay, so I'm going to put an alarm on my phone. Just so you're not forgetting about the cookies. Just washing out these cup spoons because I need them for the donuts. Okay, let's give it a boil. Antibacterial. And then we are on the donut recipe. The donut recipe is really easy. Obviously, the thing that you need for this is a donut maker. Now I have a got for my birthday this three in one snack maker. Not enough water. Ah, you see, I put in too much water. And then you you wanted to uh this is Carla. Then you wanted to kind of like, oh no, we don't want to do what Tom's done. Uh <laughs> and then you you put in too little water. <laughs> the joys of PKU. Uh, PKU cookie. It's the Nigella uh, Lawson butternut squash um, one. I think Hannah mentioned it a couple of weeks ago. She sent it across to me. And I have all the ingredients now, so I can give it a go. Okay. So. Bowl number two for donut making. Just as I've dropped. Okay, so for this, this is really simple. Um, what you're going to need is Hello Donut Maker. Okay, um, so this is a three in one maker. It can do brownies, it can do waffles, and it can do donuts, depending on what the dishes are that are in, in it. So these come out kind of then negate what you want to do in terms of a uh, dish. So if I just put this back out, there you go. If you've got young people, like little ones, then I would recommend very much supervision with this because it gets warm. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. We're going to oil it up. So what you do is you do this, you do sp like spray oil. I need to do my alarm. There we go. What you're going to do is you're going to do spray oil on them, okay? It's very, very small amount of oil. You don't want to uh, over oil it because then it can be smoking quite a lot. Strawberry brown and orange. Ooh. See, I was tempted to make a smoothie, but then. The last time I did a smoothie on camera, it overflowed. So, okay, so you spray and then you heat it up. So just a light spray, just to make sure that it's coming, getting across everywhere. Then you pull it down, you turn it on. And then there's a little light that appears at the top, that means it's heating up. Okay, so that's going to be doing its thing. Now we do this. So we're going to need a cup, we're going to need a flour, so the flour's here. So we have one and a half cups of low protein flour. If you want to do the weight measurements, you can. I'm just going to use the spoons that I have learned. Okay. So there's one. And then we'll fill it halfway. 
mixture. This mixture in this donut machine, because this donut machine makes seven donuts, um, this mixture makes about three sets of seven donuts. So that's uh, 21, 21 donuts. Okay. I don't have a hat this episode. I'm sorry. Um, as much as as much as I feel like I'd love to have a hat, I don't think I can keep this up. This uh, desire of having a hat. <laughs> we did talk about the police that didn't we? But I've been marking. I've been working. Haven't had enough time to think of a, a hat. This week. So we're wanting half a cup of sugar. And this is just normal sugar. You don't have to use caster sugar or anything like that. Just normal sugar. Okay. Just normal sugar. Then we're going to need the teaspoons. Okay. Right. Half a tablespoon. Quarter. Need those spoons. There you go. So we have half a teaspoon of egg replacer. Hello, egg replacer. And the reason why you do this while it's heating up is by the time that you should have done this mixture, then uh, that's a tablespoon. By, by the time that you've done this mixture, then that'll be heated. Okay. Whoa. Egg replacer going everywhere. Okay, so half a teaspoon of egg replacer, one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, okay, and then we're going to do a different spoon. So we need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, just as a quarter, so we're going to do this twice. Okay, and you need baking powder, so you need one and a half teaspoons of bacon. Okay, so you've got that. And then uh, you can either do melted butter or you can do margarine. I'm uh, or ma melted butter, margarine, or oil. So I'm going to do oil because oil is a lower fat alternative. And if I have if I'm making 21 donuts here and I'm going to be eating all 21 for myself, then uh, I need I need to cut down on what I have. <laughs> so 50 mils. Oil. Okay, 50 ml of oil. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to then add in a little bit of water as we stir this round. Mix this around, and then we'll add in water. So I'm going to add in mm, about 100 ml of cold water. It might be a bit more for me. And then what you do is you just stir this round, make sure you get all the flour into it. So we have cookies, um, so Anita, we have cookies in the oven, uh, sugar cookies in the oven. And at the moment we are currently just making donuts. So 
So what you want with this is you want it to be a consistency but pourable. So you want it to be runny but still relatively thick. Okay. Don't worry with the donut maker if it does look like it's smoking a bit. Um, that's because it's just burning off the oil. You can whisk this if you want. So I'm just going to give it one quick whisk. And it will leave that. So I tried my cooking machine last night, donut wise, it turned out well. So yeah, that's a good pourable consistency now. So. Make sure you get all the things out of it. Okay, and now what we want to do is um, with these machines, you want to uh, open it up with an oven glove because obviously at the moment it's on and it's very warm. Okay, so opening this up. Okay, nice little meaning that it's on and it's ready. So ideally you'd use a ladle. Um, to now put your donuts into this machine. You don't want to use a metal spoon because it will scratch the surface. Okay? So, so we get a ladle. Oh, this is too big. You want a smaller ladle or what you have. So I'm going to actually do what you're not meant to do, which is use a metal spoon. That's how I did it last night. And it went okay. So, you want to put this in, drop it into each of the sections. You don't want to fill it up too much. You want to get it so it's going across all the different sides. And it's not like um, when you're doing, I don't know, like fairy cakes or something, where you want to try and uh, fill it up. It's got heat running through it, so because it's got heat running through it, it will disperse it will disperse it round the mould. You want to kind of keep them quite even, with the consistent, like with the amount that you put in, because obviously then they'll cook at two different stages. Okay, and then once you fill, I think you filled it all up for the first batch. What you want to then do is put down the lid very gently, and then that's going to be cooking for about five to six, five to six minutes now. So we'll leave that there because we're going to be doing more and more. 
So just going to put on another timer. How many donuts will your recipe make? So with this donut machine, it makes seven donuts at a time. Um, and what I then will do is we're going to make it three times. So this makes three amounts. So about 21 donuts of this size. They're quite small sizes, but of this size. Set another alarm. Cool. So, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to make the powdered sugar. Okay. So, at the bottom of this recipe is how to do the powdered sugar as well. So I'll just put the recipe in the chat, just so people can find it. So that's the recipe. Okay. Um, so then what we're going to do is get a, we're going to use the Nutribullet, which I need to do over here because the donut machine is doing its thing. So in this Nutribullet, you want two cups of sugar. So again, we're going to use this big spoon. I might have to get some more sugar. Go get some more sugar. Uh, and then... So much sugar. No, it's doing its thing. So, two cups of sugar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to blend this for a little bit, just to make it powdered. And then we're going to add in corn flour. Okay, leave this. If everyone is okay, let me know how you cook this in the Okay, so that's becoming quite powdered now. Yeah. And then what we want to do is you want to add in two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, I can actually use a tablespoon this way. Two tablespoons of corn flour. And this will help make it not dry. Right. You want to blend this for quite a while, otherwise, it's going to become quite gritty. So, just going to give it a little bit longer. 
but also because it's sugar, make sure it's properly tight. <laughs> Okay, then you want to add the corn flour. Into it. Yeah, the corn flour will help keep it dry. Um, my phone is just about to go off to say the donuts might be done. So yeah, we're going to go check the donuts now. Just going to add in the corn flour into this. So corn flour will help it go dry, and that actually means that you can store this afterwards um, in like a Tupperware or anything like that. So donut wise, we're going to check that once I've put this on. First batch, Caroline, how many you made? <laughs> Good. Well, the biscuits are nearly there, I'd say. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to check these donuts when I find where I put my oven. Where's I put my oven? There it is. Too many things. Right, so let's open up these. Okay. Yeah, they look they get in there, so they are they are done. We've got a few that were a bit under in the mixture. Okay, so with this again, to take them off, you want to use a wooden spoon. They could do with a little bit longer actually, because they're a little bit more frozen. Put that down, a couple of minutes. And it's about finding that fine balance between filling it too much and filling it too little. So it doesn't spill over. But yeah, the donuts, the donuts are getting there. They're getting there. I'm going to take this label out. I'm going to keep mixing this up. You don't want this to settle, especially if you're using it again. There's the timer to check on the cookies. So we're just going to check on the cookies. Right. Oven lit. What you're looking for with these cookies is for them to go a bit brown. And that is looking. These are looking nice and brown now. So yeah, they are nice and got a golden brown look to them. So we'll plate these, um, put these on a cooling tray. Because we are going to glaze these when they're cool, glaze them with uh, powdered sugar. So once I've done these up, then we'll do the donut. Okay. 
Okay. So they're looking good. We're going to try to do these donuts. Yep, they are looking done. There's a few deformed ones. But I'm going to make a better batch next. Come on. Okay. That's what we're looking to get. That's what we're trying to get it to. So, we're now going to put in a new batch. The idea, try and mix it before putting it back in just to kind of reignite it, otherwise it becomes quite gloopy quite quick. Can you get another spoon just to help this person? Just because we had a few that we had like a some gaps in, we're just going to make sure that these are quite full. Again, that hybrid between full and too full is a fine line to walk. I might have to actually make some more. Because I've not lost as much as I thought it was. Okay, now that's looking like it's ready to go. And now we're just going to put this in. So we're going to get the other one. Put it down, make sure it's gentle. There we go. And now set an alarm for about, this one's going to be a bit longer, so about eight minutes because um, it's come, the heat, a lot of heat has been released from the uh, cooker, like the, the uh, the donut maker. So what I'll be then doing is adding in a little, little extra minute. How can you store your uh, sugar cookies? Um, so, um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in a lock and lock or like a Tupperware, and um, we're gonna put them in a Tupperware. I'm gonna eat half of them, probably. Uh, yeah, so 40 inch small cocktail, didn't use the Christmas tree. Oh, I didn't use the Christmas tree, what a shame. Um, and then, yeah, plastic, thanks. So what we're gonna do is we are, we have our, here, provide, just blend it up a little bit again. Okay, so we have our corn flour, sugar. Yeah. 
So this is our powdered sugar, um, well, icing sugar. And then what we need to do is um, this, in its in what it is at the moment, which is the icing sugar, that's fine for our cookies. But what we're going to do is we are going to make um, we're going to make icing glaze for the donuts. Okay. So we need um, 30 grams of margarine. Just going to move this right here. Put a weird angle. Okay, here are the cookies so you can see them. There they are. I'm just going to put them here for now. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to melt 30 grams of margarine. So if I get this little pan. Roll well, out 30 grams. Yep, so 30 grams there. Put it on a hob. You don't want to burn it, so I'll put it on about three or four. All you want is it to just melt down. Okay, then what we're going to do is I'm just going to get another bowl. to make the icing glaze in. So, okay, so um, I'm just going to move some of these running out of space. You want to dust the cookies when um, when they're cool. So at the moment they're still a little bit warm. So you want to dust it when it's cool, not while it's warm. So give them a little bit of time just to, to do what they've got to do. That's okay. So we've got the cookies here, we're going to dust them once we've done this. So we're going to need 130 grams of the icing sugar. So this is what we have here. The cookies, yes, you could you can freeze them, yeah. So we're on about 130 grams. The rest of this can be used for the cookies. Okay, and then what we need is we need a little bit of the vanilla extract. So we're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Running spoons. Running out of spoons. Four teaspoons. This is a quarter, so I'm going to put this in four times. Okay. So this is what obviously gives you the flavour. Okay. While we're waiting for the, the margarine to melt, which it's doing, we've got a couple of minutes left on the, the donuts. Okay, um, so we're going to wait for the margarine and then we're going to mix this through. What you can do is you can do the trick of what we've done before, which is um, put newspaper underneath. Um, otherwise, we're just going to dust our cookies now using the powder from here. 
You can use a sieve rather than a hand. That's what I've just remembered. Because <laughs> then you can get a good even distribution. How is your marking on this week? It's getting there. Uh, it's it's nearly finished, and then I've got a commission that I can't talk about right now, but I can next week, uh, which I'll be doing next week. So once the marking's out of the way, okay, these are definitely sugar cookies because that is where all the sugar is gone. Okay. So that's our So the margarine is nearly there. And then we're going to add that in to this. So I'm now move these because I've got about a minute left for the donuts. Move these onto the plate. You can obviously have less sugar than this. I hear you. I hear you, friend. You can obviously have less sugar than this. Well, I'm definitely doing sugar cookies. Made enough, made enough cookies here. And I will be marking faster fuel by sugar. Yeah. There's certainly a lot of them here. So that's what they've turned out like. Okay, quite a lot of sugar. You don't have to have as much. But that is what they've turned out like. And I've just forgot. Hey. So these donuts. Should be done now. So, and this margarine is done. So when I add this margarine in, and then whisk it, we're just going to check on these donuts first. A lot of things that I make would be lovely with a cup of tea. It seems like an easy. Oh, hello. Huh? A few of them have got stuck to the lid. <laughs> there you go. Right, so they are looking nice and done. So we're going to take them out with a spoon. So these ones have come out a lot better because I filled them up. Okay, so we turn that off, move that away because it's obviously very warm. So, this is what the donuts come out looking like. That's looking nice. But what it really needs is some glaze. That's what it needs. So, we're just going to whisk it through. Thank you. 
Might use a spoon now. So this is what the consistency is coming out like. So it's, it's getting there. So now what we're going to do, just whisk it a little bit more. You want to beat this so it's kind of runny-ish, but not too runny. And you want to add a little bit of milk in too, because that will help moisture it up. So we're just going to add in a little bit of milk. Okay, so I have dew cow, so I have to make it up as if it's like a normal thing. Yeah. So I'm just going to make it up as if I'm normally having like cereal. When the scales cooperate, there you go. Okay, then we're just going to add this to water. So I have about 85 grams of duocal to make up about, um, what's it called? 350 mils worth of water, and then that makes me milk. Any milk substitute can do, so you can use Pro Zero and that sort of thing. Obviously I do this. Um, that, this is just the milk that I have. And then what we're going to do is uh, we want a couple of teaspoons, a couple of teaspoons of, or tablespoons of this, just to make it that liquid element. There's one. It's hard to try and get a full amount. So one tablespoon, we're going to whisk this for now, and then this should make it nice and liquidy. That means that we can glaze. So now that's looking a lot more droop, like droppy. It's not really a technical term. <laughs> okay, and just a little bit just a spoon. You might add in a little bit more milk. Just because you don't really want it to be butter cream, you want it to be liquidy. That basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dunking the donuts, no pun intended, but the company, um, into this icing. So that's a lot better now with the mixture. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so we now have our mixture, and now what we're going to do is we are going to dunk all of our donuts. So we might keep that up here, I'll move the milk and stuff. Cool, so we're only going to do the one side of all these donuts. Okay, so uh, we'll do these lot first. Right, so we're going to dunk them, push them in, and they're coming off with a little bit of thing. You might want to squidge it in a bit more. And we're just giving them hair. Might need to whisk it up a little bit just so it doesn't go completely solid. And you might need just a tiny bit more. Tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Yeah, we're just making it up. We've got our little donuts. And this will just give them a nice little glaze. And then we've got one more thing to do after doing all these. Again, make sure you keep stirring this because otherwise it will go, it will set. I'm just getting rid of all the excess stuff that we've got here. Making them very covered for, with the, the topping. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our unicorn confetti. Flo might appreciate this one. Unicorn confetti. And then we're just going to distribute it across. As I said on the tweets and on the promotion, this is definitely not going to be a healthy uh, meal. So hopefully, oh, let me get in front. So there you go, they are our donuts. It's quite nice because the confetti sits in the middle. So uh, yeah. And um, as I say, oh. as I say every week, if you weren't doing this and talking to random people over the internet and talking you through how you're doing, um, then the donuts, when I did them last night, about 20 minutes for a mixture to finish. Anita loves it, yeah. It actually came from Anita's uh, Birmingham Christmas thing. So uh, yeah, Anita does look, love confetti. 
and they look pretty darn nice. So I'm going to try one that isn't on my display table. Um, if you leave these to set to, then um, it hardens. Okay, so it hardens as it, as it goes as it goes along. Um, so at the moment it, it's quite liquidy if you if you eat into it, but actually, um, if you leave it for a little bit of time, it hardens it. So I'm just going to have one. really nice very sugary so um, yeah maybe you're gonna have a little bit of health afterwards and they're gonna try a cookie and then that'll be it how have the cookies turned out Caroline they turned out good I'm sure you haven't got as much sugar as I have on mine It's got like um, like a rusk kind of feel, this other the cookie. It's really nice. I'm sure I've got white powder on my lips. Um, but yeah, it's got kind of like a rusk kind of feel, which is really nice. So, yeah. There you have it. You have the unhealthy week with donuts. Um, I am tempted one week to do uh, chocolate covered donuts. Obviously that will be exchanges. None of this is exchanges, so that's kind of my ethos. Um, but at least, uh, yeah, one week in donuts and I have waffles. So out of waffles or brownies, which one would people want me to try the most uh, in the machine? Look great, made lime icing sugar drizzle. Ooh, ooh. Sounds elaborate. That sounds good though. Um, so yeah, thank you for your time. Um, hopefully it's been a good week. There's a lot of different components here. Um, the recipe is up on the Google Doc, so I'll put that in the chat again. Um, so yeah, the recipe is there. Um, so you're more than welcome to try it yourself. If you do it, and I'm expecting Caroline and Anna to send pictures over Twitter, um, but yeah, so I have, uh, I'll show you the brownie and the, the waffle guy. So this is why this machine's really good, um, because you saw the donut components. So what we have here is the waffle components. Obviously has the grills, whoops, you can see the writing. Obviously has the grills of waffles. And then in here, you have the components for brownies. So, yeah, uh, if you want to let me know in the chat now, or if you want to just tweet me or uh, direct message me on social media, uh, then yeah, let me know what you what you would prefer. But yeah, cheers for uh, being with me this week. Um, if it's sunny where you are, even more so, because I know you'd want to be out. Um, but yeah, uh, I really do mean it. Cheers for your time. Uh, thank you for uh, blasting with me and watching me make really unhealthy things. I'll post up the pictures on the social media later on about what they look like um, so you can see them a bit closer. But um, cheers for your time and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Bye.